Welcome to The Standpoint. Yes, we are still celebrating 15 years of The Standpoint and we are having a homecoming. Those who have been on the program years ago coming back to catch up. We want to have a catch up to see what happened to them 15 years ago since they came on. 12 years ago, 10 years ago. Today, my guest first came on the show 12 years ago, and one of the little ones we are going to see, who is 12 years now, was actually in her mother's womb. Their story was unique. It took the nation by storm. You know, they shared the story of living with epilepsy and some of the challenges they've been through. And we had on a doctor, a specialist, who was the one who diagnosed, after all the trials and errors from other places, they are still in contact with the doctor. So today we are here to have a recap of what happened and what has happened now. So definitely you are in for a treat. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let me say thank you to Habarata for my tie and dye fabric, my skirt and top, by Liran Collections. Thank you so much to them. And of course, you know when you know we know it, my beads by Tweeny Crafts. Um, thank you so much, my earring and, of course, anklet as well by Tweeny Crafts. Thank you so much. Oh, my shoe is by Awos Unisex Boutique. Thank you. Makeup, J. Claude Beauty. We take a break. When we come back, we get to meet the lobbies. We'll be back. The Standpoint. The Standpoint. Welcome back to The Standpoint, and let me say thank you to Verna Mineral Water and Bigo Drinks. Verna Mineral Water, you should know that it has the perfect pH levels, correct minerals in there, low in sodium, and they also embark on many charitable projects, and they, 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 they focus on sharing love and changing lives, just like The Standpoint does. Thank you so much to them. Thank you to Geisha or Lastama. And we are so grateful to all our supporters. Now, let me come straight to the set and introduce my guests. And of course, thank you, Techno Ghana, for my, correct, have I turned it this? My Techno Phantom V Fold. Thank you so much. And I mean, it's on the market. Make sure you go and um, get yours as well. Let me introduce my guest before I chop Kokonsa. So right opposite me, I have Dr. Albert Akpalu, Senior Lecturer, University of Ghana Medical School, Albami Specialist Consultant Clinic at Kolebu Teaching Hospital and Head Neurology Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Welcome back to the standpoint. Thank you, Gypsy. Doc, it's been how many years? 12 years. 12, 12 years. years yes. 12 years when you first came on the yes. standpoint. Good, good, good to have you back on. Next to Doc, I don't have to look on it. I have, I don't have to look on my The Mrs. Abba Labi. Welcome back to the standpoint. Thank you very much. Now, when Mrs. Labi came on the standpoint the first time, she was pregnant with a beautiful girl. Now, Sweet, come, come, let me show you how she's looking now. This should tell you how far the standpoint has come. Come, come and stand by me. This is her, you know, she was in her mother's womb when they came on the standpoint. And how old are you now? 12 years. 12 years. Oh, I'll get her back on the social tour. She's doing amazing. How many, you won some, um, for just recently, what was it? Bookworm, yeah, she, she, she won bookworm, this way. <laughs> She's laughing, we call her the standpoint baby. <laughs> Abba, how has it been? Very good, everything is nice. You're looking very well. Thank you. Oh, why if you are the That's it. And next to her, we have the Mr. Thomas. Labby, 
Tom. That's me. <laughs> That's me. MC Tom. That's me. Welcome back to the stand for Thank you very much. You know, since you first came on, you've been on the show a few times. Sure. Yeah, I think we started from the doc. Let me start with doc. From where we started, from yeah. African Region Hotel, yeah. from the table that we used and everything yes. to here. Yeah. What do you think? The start point. No, so I think far. you've really grown. You've matured, mm. and it's it's nice to be here. Mm. And I really love this setup. And I think I'm beginning to change my color. So I think I like red. So I have red in my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> You have read it. Thank you. Thank you so much. We first we came on, you, we talked about um, epilepsy. Yes. Which at that time was a taboo yes. topic. What was the reaction or the feedback you had, if you remember, yes. when we had the fair show, the especially with them? Um, yes. So I actually, it was interesting. I've known um, Abba and the husband for a while. Right. And um, I think some of the reactions we had, why did we come on? TV, why did we bring her? But later the family came and were grateful for the opportunity to be an ambassador for epilepsy. Mm -hmm. And even then, we tried to bring epilepsy out of the shadows. 15 years down the line, we are still marking time. A, a lot of work has, has been done, mm -hmm. um, both from the government side and the non-governmental side. And right. I think we still have a lot of work to do to break the stigma. Right. and bring epilepsy out of the shadows. And mm. Abba and the husband have been consistent mm. with this message, and mm. I'm very proud of them. Um, Thomas is the president of the IB, which is the International Bureau of Against uh, Epilepsy. Oh, um, it's okay. been a little dormant, but we are trying to, to kickstart it, it yeah. to, to revive it. And Abba has featured a lot on WHO videos on bringing epilepsy out of the shadows. So wow. we are very proud of them. Wow, that's awesome. That's great. Well done. Well done. Wow. I mean, that's great to hear. But uh, before I go on to Abba and Thomas, I think um, apart from Abba, there are a few cases where you were the one who was finally able to identify the problem. Yes. So years ago, identifying or diagnosing, that's the yes. I think word, epilepsy was difficult. Yes. So they will try also before they yes. come to the conclusion, this is epilepsy. Has it changed? Has diagnosis become easier um, now? The diagnosis is it's a, little, it's a little better. It's, it's better. Um, 15 years ago, there was only two of us um, mm. as neurologists in Ghana. And yeah. I can say, can you, we are more than 12. We were able to reproduce. So we have more people making their diagnosis. There are more equipment available. But the problem is getting people to understand that Epilepsy is treatable. Right. Epilepsy is not contagious. Epilepsy is not a spiritual disease or is not caused by witchcraft or a curse that mm -hmm. they have to come to hospital early. Mm -hmm. Now, 12 years, 15 years down the line, WHO is putting emphasis on the non-convulsive aspects of epilepsy. Mm -hmm. We all know epilepsy, people think anybody who has epilepsy should foam, jerk, fall down and scream. No, there are 40% of people with epilepsy do not check. They have a lot of psychological, emotional, and non-convulsive features where you cannot see. So that is very difficult to, to determine. Mm -hmm. Most of these people end up in a psychiatric um, hospital mm -hmm. or with a psychiatrist, and the symptoms go on, and some of the medications make the symptoms worse. Oh, yes. So they are held on there. So we are trying to, this period is trying to bring awareness of non-convulsive seizures, which is a big problem, even for me as a neurologist, sometimes difficult to pick up. To pick up. Wow. So we still have a long way to go. I have a long way to way go. To go. Yes. Okay. Thomas, the husband. That's me. <laughs> when you came on, I think we had a follow-up where you had a, a lot of backlash. Sure. I, I still remember the first one we did at GTV. Yes the morning show so, and you yeah. were the host i was yeah. on with dr palu and yeah. professor ajay yes after that program we came on the standpoint Point, yeah. okay and after the standpoint of course we, we, we all this bashing and all that it, it 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 happens all the time and you see when you understand and you have a focus and you know what you are doing you really don't care about any negativity okay but i can say that after that program you know, the exposure became more bigger. Mm. And then for those who think that this is a hidden kind of sickness and shouldn't be talked about, and oh, 
Ghana. Ben my Ben, no, we go At least I was able to break that myth to some extent. Right. So somebody knew because after me, I have friends or I have a uh, persons who are living with the police who I took like a daughter. Okay. Who is married? She has given birth to two children. Wow. You understand? So I I I can remember one or two people who have done what I did. Probably my story motivated them. The fact that from my side as a man and, and everything that comes around it and I was able to break that myth. It means that and that is the message I preach aside helping them to understand that epilepsy is not what they think. So we can help them to identify this and then get to deal with it. And epilepsy is not a dead warrant. It's, yeah. Okay, so there has been there has been a lot of changes. There has been a lot a lot of change, a lot of improvement, and people now know that even with the challenge as Dr. Paulo stated, we are dealing with. Mm. But for me, if you ask me, from that time to now, I think we've made a lot of improvement right. in terms of uh, advocating and sending the message that come on, we can go to the right place for help, mm. and this is not a big deal mm. because they can't give birth. That was one of the things they were saying. They say, yeah. Okay, so I remember a few people confronted me. Hey, so this decision you are taking, if your wife can't give birth, what will you do? Sometimes I look at them, the answer in my head is not good. So I don't <laughs> You don't do say that. anything. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know, that time we're maturing in this because this was a new experience, yes. a new phase for me. Right. I remember I went into this after I got married to my wife. Yeah. And through Dr. Palu, he gave me some side that I made a lot of research and I, I, was, mm -hmm. I was terrified. Right. Okay, like really. So we have this huge burden. Now, mm -hmm. I am not a medical doctor, mm -hmm. but I feel that there's something I can do exactly. to, to improve and to lift where I stand. And that is why mm -hmm. I went into this. And yeah. it's been challenging, but it, it, it's worthwhile. Yeah. Sure. I think that we'll be able to touch a lot of lives. We'll be able to bless people with that, the little that we have done. So mm -hmm. people can call me and say, oh, I know someone that has epilepsy. Okay, give their number to me. So sometimes what we do, sometimes we do it together or I go alone. Mm -hmm. I talk to them. I want to meet their parents because from my experience, I realized that the biggest support you can have is from the home. home. The yeah. family. If the family rejects you, nobody will accept you. Yeah. Except God sent. Mm. So if the family is able to accept and don't think that when we drink in this cup, you don't have to drink in it, and they treat you like something very, mm. very special, then right. that is going to move those outside to be free. Because if your family rejects you, who do you want to accept? To accept you. So it, it, it's been good. It, it, it's been good. And we want to thank you because mm -hmm. I think that this is where it, it started from. The, mm -hmm. the whole show, the confidence. That day at African Regions, I remember. Yeah. I was talking like a, mm -hmm. like a, a, like a doctor. <laughs> a, a credit to Dr. <laughs> Balu for all that he has taught me. And, and Abba was so nervous at that time. I and remember. It was a, you, you remember you cried small. You cried small. But how has it been? Mm -hmm. Since the no, I'm fine. Now I can go anywhere, mm -hmm. anywhere by myself, and my daughter too okay. can accompany me to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Those times, then I can't go anywhere unless somebody is with me. Yeah. But now I can do anything. Right. I'm very right. good. Right. Have they suffered any stigma? Do they get when they go to school like? What you know, children can be mean and say things to her. Have they ever come home to tell you anything that somebody, a teacher said, or somebody said that your mother has epilepsy? No, 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 no. They haven't said anything. But the first one I've helped somebody mm -hmm. who have the same issue at school. Uh -huh. You go, girl. Uh -huh. Albertina, yeah. No, Pell. Pell. Okay. Well, the one we brought on the standpoint. On the standpoint, yeah. The one yeah. Was this thing that has to be kept in <laughs> Oh, I see. Is she in school yes. or in, in school? school? Somebody and she helped her. Yes. Wow. That's amazing. All right. Let, let me take a break. Um, when we come back, I would want us to have a recap. Those who didn't watch the first one, a recap of what really happened. What was the beginning? Um, did you know before you married Abba and some of the challenges you faced and um, how far we have come? Well, let me say thank you to our supporters oh by the way this uh, beautiful set is put together by or was put together by digicraft digicraft is based in dansuma thank you so much they gave us the concept they did the graphic the drawing everything and they built it for us we are so grateful to them we're also grateful to house of food and vera and the team thank you so much to them juice time 
yep cleaning services they make sure environment is very clean all the time awos unisex boutique awo is based at tesano jowulu and then east legon they deal in everything leather shoes bags belt wallet for both male and female that's why it's unisex thank you so much to them Thank you to Leran Collection for my dress, Habarata for the fabrics, and of course, Mrs. Oforipoku and the team. We are so grateful to you for always supporting us. We'll be back. The standpoint. The standpoint. And welcome back to The Standpoint. Yes, we are having a homecoming. 12 years since they first appeared on The Standpoint. How has it been? Again, I say thank you to Habarata for my tie and dye fabric. My skirt and top is by Liran Collection. Thank you so much to her. Thank you to Trini Craft for my beads, um, the bracelets, and of course, earrings and anklets as well. Thank you so much. Thank you to J. Claude Beauty for my makeup. Always giving me in the face a beat. And of course, Abe's uh, makeup is by Pensy Beauty Hub. Thank you so much to all of them. All right, so let me come to you, Thomas. Let's have a recap. 12 years ago, the story you shared on the standpoint, for those who don't know the story, did you know Abba had epilepsy before you married her? Yes, I knew. I knew two years before, before we got married. Mm. So at the time I knew she had epilepsy, she was just, she was just a friend. Thank we you. attended the same church. Okay. and. Uh, so you see a friend and there was no strings attached. There was no, nothing like relationship. I don't think I was even ready at that time for marriage. Mm. Yeah, so uh, she visited my home. Let's say she visited on Monday. Okay. And then she came again on Wednesday. Okay. okay so on Wednesday, we were seated you know, in my room with my friend who was the best man when we got married. Yeah. So he stepped out to buy drinks. The moment he stepped out and then Abba got a seizure. And I didn't know it was a seizure. I don't know what it is. All I knew is that she was just uh, trying to misbehaving. Her mm -hmm. body was misbehaving. <laughs> and I was like, hey, I don't die. Oh. <laughs> I was scared. I was scared because uh, why must my friend live and this happen? happen. If something happens, how do I explain okay. myself? Because I'm a witness to myself. So, and yes. that one cannot win case. <laughs> I know, right? But... I don't know where the confidence came from, and I held her. The moment, for, for some few seconds, when I held her arms, and then the thing stopped. And I was like, hey, that is where my spirit came back, because my spirit left. <laughs> but it, it came back. And then, and then she has to relax. And then I started asking questions. That, what is happening? Like, what? But you see, when at the point, it, it occurred to me that I have seen something like this before when I was in JSS. Mm. And, and, and the things people said about, there's this guy who does shoemaking, and he had a seizure, and we didn't know. All we know is a stretch, you know, and mm -hmm. So I was like, wow. And then I started asking, she started, so then my mind was taking me back to what I saw. But I don't know what meat my mother ate to give birth to me. I should be afraid mm -hmm. of the things she was telling me. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, I never, I think I'm stubborn. Mm -hmm. I never, I was not moved. And my friend came and I told her that, make sure you don't mention this thing to anybody. anybody. I don't want anybody to know. So your friend came to meet it? No, oh, na, oh by Anna Claire and uh, Dan. Yeah. Claire, Claire. You don't see anything. Thing, okay. We drank our mineral, we went to see her off, and I did not tell anybody. Yeah. It took like a year before my junior brother was but going to see her off, and it happened. And then she, and he also got to know. And then when he came home, he came and asked me, ah, are you aware? He said, I know. You know, when you're saying, uh, did you know? I know. No. <laughs> did you know this? Oh, I already know. <laughs> no, so they were like, my brother was like, hey, money, pa. you know this and you still want to. You understand? Because they see that I entertain her in the house. My mother, my grandmother, everybody knows her. So, and you know, that is how it continued. And I decided not to even tell my mother. Like, I don't want to. I only told my mother a month to my wedding. Okay. Right? A man to my wedding, when I told my mother, this is the lady I want to marry. So I said, oh, the story have part one and two. two. So when I told her the part one, then the part two is the fact that she has seizures. Yes. Okay, so knowing the kind of mother I have, who is very protective of it, uh, her children, mm -hmm. 
I, 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 I knew there was going to be some kind of uh -huh. opposition. Yeah. But I was just prepared for everything. And that day, my mother gave me the shock of my life. Mm. She said, if this is what you want, mm. you have my blessing. I said, ah, a wo? <laughs> and so, no, so from there, if my mother accepts Certainly. that decision, else, uh, yeah. no, I, I, I really care less about what anybody thinks. And that is how it went. So even after we got married, later, like a year before some of my family members got mm -hmm. to know, mm -hmm. some of my aunties, some of them, it took them two, three years, four years. We're, we're now 16 years since we got married. Wow. And, 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 and it took them years for them to know your wife, and they were like, mm. hey, Papa, ni. He who you mean calling? Yes, I mean call. I don't. I mean call positive. Yeah. And and and, and that is. Oh, you not sell out to your wife. Sure, and that is and that is how uh, it has been. It hasn't been easy. You know, you remember that time I said yeah. I won't sit on TV and pretend everything is smooth, smooth like that. Yeah. No. So when you are coming in in a situation like that, don't think that uh, I am some magical god be or at the end of the day, a a a mood there ha I have, I have been through challenges. I started using spectacles because my wife slapped me. And she didn't know. It was in, in, the, in the midst of seizures. Jesus. And that day, I was tired. So I was asleep. I could not even hear pain when she was having. Unlike me, when she's having seizures. Yeah. Like before she would start, no, somebody would wake me up. Yeah. So before she would start having seizures, I'm already up and I know what to do. But that day, I don't know what happened. So you know the ring yeah. that has a tower? Yeah. Huh. Now when she raised the hand like this, and then it hit my eye. Aye. So I had, I had issues. I had to seek for medical attention. Now, these glasses is style. OK? It's mm -hmm. life. I said, I'm yet to say, I'm going to say, I'm continue wearing. But, but, but what I started feeling at that time, it's gone. Like, I read, I, can, I, don't, I don't use glasses to read. to read. So this is style. OK. And, 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 and you know, as an MC, you need to look good. So I like to look like this. So. Don't worry, but it's it's it's, 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 it's been it's been very challenging. Mm -hmm. But because we're ready to make it work, right. yes, we, we are making mm -hmm. it work gradually. Because you know, you you have people who are looking up to you. Mm -hmm. You have lives that you want to touch. You have already touched certain lives, and you want to do more. So things will come that will make you want to back. But, yeah. uh, but yeah. we've been consistent. Abba. Into na isra where you have a nestro in the beginning nestro do omo of versus an adrena. Okay, the me prayer no be muko baby first biya. Like me be be me catch in the me situation into in case no ba no wabo. Only say say but first. In your first in America. Oh first in America. Okay. Into. Okay. Mwana like oba monko fuku kume drama ba mi mi huna bida ebi into mada aha inti me ba na one first day me yada me kachen but wai da unkomo nanti ma juni fido aha inti second day na me ba wana na obe no bisa na me kebi biyazi chen but along the line na mistro da oba kade ama ma me ba no hobiyo but da kromo ba no ho ina na aso wai da unhu da jamu mistro de. Or back there, Mamma Banubio. In see, in common, Muna no Cade, you as a beer or no cross. In see, who so was in you? In see, Mamma on your way, you today, and what damn, now you are welcome to my house at any time, any day. No, i okay, thank you. Now, me, you are happy. Now, before then, not a brabotter then. Oh, no, we're going yet because eh. Maybe a school, it could maybe a baby be like what happen, And Obacade, Jibu pay na a jumen you over fro on fro. A bit to more, I cry, ya, maybe me auntie ho, or Kulibu. In a milk or sooner a decoration. Okay. In your answers, my man and young could be war. Testano was side. In see along the line as not happening, but my men are in you, but work is in the kitchen. In the addition, maybe a joint of my men or from Nifiwo store niche or from Ufi. Now, Mokwa no one on a moon, white envelope door or the name. In some moon there as all, all baying in her. My men of Sunan Cassano or Quabu Chica from Zamaba. In Sino Ketchum de or Bokwaka from Yamaza Bana, a me Jimmy Payne or Ba or Befrem, Nam Soki, and I'm a Jimmy Musin. 
But I am the day one day more worry nature na more way. Moko my aunt will card you. Into me, if you card you, more pray. Porch no more one and a missia, mammy. Mammy was surprised to see me there. Eh, I'm me panina with my condition, me basha mechin. And then you are jim, the name you are just so I fair be because castle in casting you on to me, she mean him. And I was happy there, oh, shame them time, them time. But still, you are hurting. It can't damn your money or your yell, my boy. Still, or your yell. Because I'm bread. I'm bread. It's not easy. It's not easy. For me, the, even the confidence she has yes. to come and tell her story every time, knowing that recapping it brings back memories. That for me is what really, and I, I remember the first time we did it, I kept asking them, are you sure you want me to add? Because again, Abba broke down then. Yeah. Yeah. And my worry was her pregnancy and everything. But she said, we should air it. And I think for me, that is all that matters. She's not thinking about just herself, no. but then to help other people to understand what that irrespective of what you do or people do to you, you can still make it. Doc. Our story has been unique because we have a lot of patients, daughters, who have tried to bring on sets, but last minute, their husband yeah. or their parents yes. or somebody will call and yes. then and then um, cancel it. But Abba's story has been unique. She's left a lot out. She's the typical story of what we call the treatment gap. Yeah. When we started 15 years ago, treatment gap in Ghana was 95%. Mm. It means 95% of people living with epilepsy do not have diagnosis and are not, do not have access to treatment. treatment. A lot of initiatives have, we've had Ghana fight against epilepsy initiative. We did this in 10 regions with the WHO and Epilepsy Society of Ghana. We were able to bring the gap down it's between 70 and 80% now. Yeah. So there's still a big gap of people. Abba came from uh, the central region. Yes. When she was little, she was sent to a, a, a camp she was, did not have access to medicine. She had horrible stories of that time when she did not have access to medicine. She didn't know what it was. She did not have medicine. So her auntie um, brought her to Accra and we, we, we started the process. So there are several people we've had. I've had people, children thrown at me that this child is useless, can't do anything. So I said, well, we'll mm. take care of her. And so mm. I have lots of daughters there. Don't, 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 let me ask, what kind yeah. of... I know your mother, I know she yeah. loves, she has a heart, but what kind of, I don't know, what, I don't know whether to ask upbringing or what kind of human being you are, because it's not just children with epilepsy who are thrown at you. People come and we've had these stories every time. I've had people who say, oh, I saw Dr. Palu, you know, or some people tell me they are so, and I say, yes, I know Dr. Palu very well, but people come and even abandon their children for you and you still take care of them. Yeah. So my, my, my job as a physician is to make people better, is to heal people. And that's what gives me the kick, is to see, put a smile on people's faces. So I'm, I'm very happy to see Abba and then the husband we've, we've been through and the several other daughters that I have. Yeah, so yeah. some of them are very naughty. So I remember <laughs> I, I, I would tell them, especially for pregnancies, yeah. I'm happy about the feminine side. side yes. Any woman in the reproductive age group mm -hmm. needs to be on medication, needs to be on the right medication because right. you want to avoid side effects or the right. side effects of the medication. Patient. So okay. if you put them on the wrong medication, I mentioned especially sodium valproate, mm. they can have congenital de defects, they have, um, they get paralyzed, they have cleft palate and etc. So we okay. are very particular with our, with, with our female patients. Patient. So okay. we tell them that when they are ready, they should let us know. No. So anybody who is a female on medication who has epilepsy must take folic acid. So that, 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 so if your doctor hasn't given you, you go and take it yourself. So, but tell them that you, you need to you listen to standpoint and we said we must be on folic, folic acid. acid. Okay. And, and also as um, the simple first aid, when somebody has a seizure, don't panic, don't shout, don't scream, don't pour palm oil, 
don't put anything into the person's mm -hmm. mouth. The new teaching is do not put anything in the person's they, 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 mouth. They force, they force spoons, into their they mouth. have mobile phones. If you have the Nokia, the old Nokia, when the emergency room, the phone was ringing, we didn't know where it was. It was in somebody's mouth. They had Jeez. pushed it into, into the, the person's mouth. mouth. So do not restrain the person. If I have a seizure now, just put me on the floor, let me be. It will come around and just protect me. I'll come out and then we will take it up from there. Mm. So do not but, panic. Okay. Well, I, I will need to take a break, but before then, we still don't know the causes of epilepsy, do we? We do. There are different causes. So it depends on the environment which you are in, depends on the age of the patient, and depends on several things. And of course, there are some unknown causes. That makes the spiritual aspect, aspect come into yeah. place. But there's, there are structural causes, there are metabolic causes, there are some genetic causes. And there, there, there are other unknown causes, and especially Death, birth trauma. Birth trauma birth, can birth cause trauma. that as well. So if we have a poor obstetric process, like we have in some parts of Ghana, women take three days to go into labor, do not have access to uh, even a traditional birth attendant or a midwife, a qualified trained midwife to supervise the birth. The baby is born um, asphyxiated. Asphyxiated means that not enough oxygen is gone mm -hmm. to the brain or has jaundice. So that person will grow and come and fill our clinic. So we need to start at the, the, the baseline. baseline. Yes. You know, Doc, the Tianti Foundation, um, yes. we, we do have um, um, health, women's health is part of it. Okay. And in September, as part of our 15th anniversary, we want to go to the uh, central region okay. and have a program with 150 pregnant women, okay. give them education, give them one hot meal, um, provide them with some, you know, the basic, the diapers. And I did one in the in Edumasa um, two years ago. We want to do this That's time, go okay. and do it. So we'll, we'll look at work look with at you work. to see okay. so that the education that needs to go on them for them to really understand yes. because my focus is always i wasn't born in the rural areas but thanks to the standpoint and the exposure I, i've seen some of the you know the gap the, gap, the yes. things you know so and, september okay. we are looking at september and, and 9th okay. 9th because and it's a ninth month and month, the ninth, ninth day okay. because pregnancy you know then yes. average is a nine months that's and, why and, we and want because to central region has the highest proportion i know of camps of spiritual that camps comes. and where they hold people with living with neuropsychiatric okay. conditions the, all, 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 all the camps are there so we have a lot of work That's to be to done do that. let me take a break and when we we'll come back we'll come back to abba i want to find out from her now when she sees her two lovely children doing so well in school you know winning prizes and competitions and debates how does she feel that she sing anti me family. Now I am say Do you love that song? We'll be back. The standpoint. The standpoint. Welcome back to the standpoint and meet the lobbies and of course Dr. Albert Akpalu. Uh, let me say thank you to Vena Mineral Water. Vena Mineral Water has the perfect pH, you know, level, it's the balance is correct. And we have all the minerals in the balance levels, sodium is low, and they embark on charitable uh, projects, like in fact, the standpoint and the Giftianti Foundation, all the projects we do, they support and they support other charitable projects as well. They give incubators to clinics, they, they dig boreholes, they do so many things. And their tagline is sharing love and changing lives. We are so grateful to them for partnering the standpoint to also make impact for the path they've been on this year from the beginning of this year and we hope to go a long way with them we are grateful to them they give us bigger drinks as well thank you to juice time juice time has been with us for more than two years we are grateful to them and of course auntie vera for auntie vera it's getting to 10 years she's supported us we are always always grateful to her thank you to yep cleaning services who make sure our environment is consistently clean and tidy and healthy as well. And all those who have been on the program, go go to you got. We are so grateful to you. And of course, Techno Ghana for my Phantom V fold. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like that. You want to see how it how it looks like? Uh, okay, so this is it. You know, so thank you so much for that. I'm grateful to you. Now, 
Back to the set. We have Pearl, who when um, she came on the standpoint, she didn't come on, she was behind the scenes. She was three years, and she caused Wahala trouble, you know, making we had to go and keep her in some room. And then we have Albertina, who was in her mother's womb 12 years ago when they came on the standpoint. And when you, you know, guess the name Albertina, definitely named after Dr. Albert Apalu. So she's, he's a godfather. Abba, when you look at them and remember your pregnancy journey, how does it make you feel? You feel it then? Because it's not easy there. We have lips in the Attacks me a plenty. Mm. In the uh, first one, Menya. Okay. First one, Menya. Menya. In the Mr. Menya, in the Biemen, in the strange woman still, because attacks no one. Yeah. But Menya, I am just a doctor. So my doctor Palu, move on to Ojina or maternity ward. Wow. In the on no one ma in the Musu Menya. But today, today the nurse sipping. It's a pearl. Say, say, pearl. What, what, what? You are in what? Secondary school. Yes. Please move there. Okay. Yeah. You are in secondary school. Secondary school, first year. What? How do you call me? How do you refer to me? What's my name? Aunt Gifty. When you've done to get I'm grandma. Okay, <laughs> 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 grandma. <laughs> I'm grandma. Life, life. Now me pay many a fifty-three years. <laughs> eh? In your three, in your three years, not me, 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 not me, not me, my hippo. It was only forty something. Wow. It's good to see you. How's yeah. school? How are you doing? School is fine. I'm doing great. Yeah. Knowing your mother's situation and knowing the story, how does it make you feel? Um, it makes me feel that she's a strong woman, and I need to support her no matter what. Mm. Because of her, I'm here today. If it wasn't for her, I won't be here. I won't be in school and be on this set. And I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to the three of them. Mm -hmm. And God bless them. Three of which people? <laughs> my dad, my mom, and Dr. Palu. What did, what how did they do? <laughs> okay, so Dr. Palu held my dad. And mm -hmm. my dad, with um, the godlike spirit he has, he was ready to help <laughs> He was ready to help my mom, and I also thank Dr. Palu for supporting her in medication and stuff. What do you want to say to your mother that you haven't said to her before? Mm -hmm. okay. Knowing and seeing. Have you seen her go through uh, in a crisis before? Yes, many times. Many times. What uh, do you want to say to her? I want to tell her that God bless her very much, and I love Look her. Look at her. <laughs> Once to her, that God bless her very much, and I love her, and I know that when I grew up, I would put her to the world that this is the um, the strong woman who has made me someone I am today. Oh, <laughs> God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Sister Bettina. How are you? I'm fine. As, as for you, you are my personal toy. <laughs> <laughs> you are my Toby. Remember when the, the, there was a day we had a program at the forecourt of the you yeah, know the, studio. That was, that was the uh, launching of the, the, the studio. The studio, the launching yeah, of the, the studio. Launching of the studio. Do you remember? You were just holding my dress everywhere, <laughs> following me everywhere. It's good to see you. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. I follow you. Yeah, you are in class what now? Class six. And you you won the book what? Bookworm. The bookworm, you know, the national. Wow. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a gynecologist. Want to be a gynecologist? Wow. Wow. Who were you named after? Grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> you are named after Grandpa. What do you want to say to Grandpa? I want to tell him that thank you for supporting my mom and my dad through all what they went through. And if it was not for him, I would not be here today. Mm. And so what do you want to say to your mom? I want to tell her that I thank her for bringing me to this world and I love it. Okay. And your dad? I also thank him and I love him. Your dad, you're smiling. Your dad is <laughs> shy. <laughs> uh, the girls, no? Your dad is girl. Okay. Do you sometimes get scared that maybe you also get it? No. No. Yeah, you, you, you know it's not.
contagious, right? You know it's not contagious. Okay. All right. God bless you. Okay. Now take your seat. <laughs> Mr. Labi, in conclusion, what do you want to say to men out there who are afraid or some of them, yeah, maybe got married before they realized that their wives, you know, have this. Or sometimes they have children. We have fathers who run away, leave marriages because they have children who have epilepsy and other, you know, autoimmune conditions. And then they run away. What have you got to, got to say to them? Um, first, I just want to let them know that this life is round. Mm. And what you run away from here, you might meet it at the other side. So... Mm. Running away is not the solution. Mm. You need to be bold enough to stand for them. Because, you see, like I said earlier on, I'm sure that it's not everything I do that my wife likes. Right. And it's not everything she does yes, that, that I like. like. Right. But, you see, there is a mission that needs to be accomplished. There is a God-given mission and responsibility that needs to be accomplished. So, once you discover yourself, I want the men to find themselves. Okay, this is, this is a feminine set. Yeah. But I just want to tell the men, find mm. yourself. Right. Because when you discover yourself, I discovered myself just after I got married. Mm. I discovered the lion in me. Mm. I discovered the training that I was giving when I was young that I didn't really place importance on it. Right. Right. At that time, then it became so clear and bare what that is going to do to me. And mm. I took over. And I always want to say this. The man that took care of me, the man that brought me up, Captain Labi, and mm -hmm. that is my mother's senior brother. He gave me everything that school could not give me. Okay? And when it got to a time when I need to put them into practice, I did. I have not been that perfect, but that is what has brought me here. So if you are a man and you have situation, whether you knew before you married them, whether it came after you married them, and, and whatever condition that is developed in the middle of the relationship or uh, uh, marriage, don't run away. You see, when you do that, it tells you your, your level of cowardness. Mm. Sure. Sometimes lack of education makes people react and behave it's the way they did. Yeah. And I always thank Dr. Palu because I tell you, Dr. Palu is one angel that I've still not been able to define. I'm still right. trying to work on it. Yeah, me and, too. And me he has too. been able to lead us to so many people like Professor AJ, yeah. uh, uh, Professor Sami Ohini, and many yeah. other doctors, mm. and Dr. Chawe Feli. And these people have really lifted that, me right they've helped me to lift my game in this epilepsy fight, fight so right. seek for the knowledge whatever you find yourself in if you don't know your mo your phones are there your smartphones are there google seek for yes and <laughs> seek for not google have everything yeah so yes. seek yes. sure seek, seek for seek for knowledge and once yeah. you have the knowledge because i believe i don't have the knowledge other people would have told me things that will make me a, a, a turn back on yeah. what I want to do. Yeah. But because I seek for the knowledge, Dr. Palu has always been there. When I, I, I'm, I'm in confusion, I'll send him a message. I want to understand this. That. Mm -hmm. And at what time the message comes? If he's busy, when he's less busy, he'll just respond okay. to me. And he has made me kept myself so. on the journey that I decided to. Discover yourself, seek knowledge, mm -hmm. and pray to the Almighty God Good. to yeah. help you. Because some of these things, sometimes it is not easy. easy. Yeah. It is, I'm not saying it is spiritual. Yeah. Did you hear me well? I didn't say it's spiritual. I say it is not, not easy. easy. So in short, in men, be the standpoint for your family. And listen to the family side inside you. And act on it. Hallelujah. Amen. You see why you're my younger brother. You see that thing? Abba. Abba is in a car. She won't be epilepsy. I saw an epidemic showing the in one call hospital. Umbo Mazunko Hospital. A Yerban say, Esha, mostly or ya, a beggar's door or ye soon soon yerba. But Matsnaha may testify the Echo Hospital. Bibia be fine because Moko Hospital on and the Mitsnai. Some uncle hospital in Caminima Mabay. In Siwonko Hospital, no one can do the over Cabiano. We follow. Na I feel so much more fair day. The over the me urban. Sebi or young one or walk off a urban or two hold. Baby or book could be a when you open the over the me urban. What say turn away your by an Indian? Nanny drew. Say you open a mean jeans a day. Nimpe be no bayo. Kay, 
because one cousin is in Kanaki. On ye, Elhorn, a year by the bay, year by the bar, or no, you strew or you strengthy, me just the strainer was a yedam. But so one cassa can, eh, you strain if you see your banner bar only be able to my boar. Now, if you so, my catcher, eh, one of all year one family for day. One show don't know when I cry. I don't see here, pa. He showed don't know when I on my yard, but no cool phone cry. That's it. Master, me, that's it. I just want to add this. Someone will be wondering, okay, so 12 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, 15 years ago, how it was looking like? How is it looking like now? Mm -hmm. When we got married on uh, 24 February mm -hmm. 2007, my wife was having seizures seven times a day. And it was horrible. It was life, like, let me say, life threatening. Because sometimes the strength and everything, Dr. Palu has explained, and he can even explain mm. more in yeah. the medical terms what yeah, we, we are saying. Yeah, we do a proper program but you on see, that. Yeah. That seven times didn't deter me. But like I said, I was seeking knowledge all the time from him. So he taught me what a seizure diary is. And I started keeping track of what was happening. Mm. And the time she had the seizure, and the dates, and then what was it like? Sometimes, you know, in my best English, I say responsive. Mm. It's a very strong, mild. Mm. And I'm mm. diary. And when I take it to him, he will look at you and say, Thomas, this is good. This is good. You are, you are doing well. Okay, so Abba, we will change, we'll give you a uh, phenobab, we'll reduce this. And, and you see, gradually, we were improving. Sometimes mm. the seizures will go down. When she becomes a bit stubborn, doing the things that we have agreed that she shouldn't do, then you see that it goes up. So we're now tracking it until today. Today, as we you speak. You know my mother was Abba. My mother too was Abba. Stop, boy. <laughs> as we speak, we can live like three, four, five months. Not even one seizure. Doc, <laughs> in conclusion. Yes. So in conclusion, um, standpoint has been great. I, the message I want to leave is they are an exemplary couple. Yeah. People living with epilepsy can marry. They can have children. They have two beautiful Pearl and Albertina. They mm -hmm. don't have epilepsy. Epilepsy is not contagious. Mm -hmm. People living with epilepsy can attend school and mm -hmm. fulfill their purpose. Right. So that's the message we've been preaching and mm -hmm. we'll continue to do that. And we have to reduce the stigma. People living with epilepsy, our medical people mm -hmm. should not abandon them. People still in schools, elsewhere, in churches, and they are... The, the stigma is too much. So we yeah. have a lot of work to do. Yeah. To, and over-spiritualizing. And over-spiritualizing it and that. So um, it's, it's not been an easy journey. And I've had an amazing woman behind me. My, yeah. um, I have two bosses. My wife is my boss at work and my boss at home too as well. So Your wife is your boss at yeah, work and your boss at home? She's my head of department. So oh, wow. Dr. Josephine Akpali. She's been an amazing woman. Mm -hmm. I think we are 25 years this year to Please, us. Well, I will so. have to celebrate the both of you on the standpoint. That point, so. That time you need to connect all <laughs> their children. They will have to come in the studio. We'll do work on that. We'll do that. So mm -hmm. it's, it's been an amazing journey. And this is the opportunity for us to bring awareness and to break the stigma down. Mm -hmm. And um, Abba has been fantastic. And all uh, my, my daughters and yeah. my grandchildren, yeah. Yeah. And the, let us break the stigma of epilepsy. Right. And epilepsy is not contagious. Right. And you can live a normal, healthy life with epilepsy. Yeah. And Thomas has been great. So information is knowledge. For lack of knowledge, my people, people perish. perish. I actually said that to a pastor yesterday who was not taking his blood pressure medication. So I said, for lack of knowledge, you're, you, you perish. are perishing. You are, you are perishing. <laughs> so, so let's let's get that in and let's reduce reduce stress. Life is short, and yeah. we have to help each other okay. and help people as we go along. And as I said, be authentic. The mm. the journey has not been smooth. It's not been easy. We've had. There's been lots of ups and downs, but right. I think we have to stay positive and right. look ahead. So Abba and um, Thomas, thank you very much. It's been an amazing journey, and it's always a pleasure seeing you. I had some tears in my eyes when I saw my grandchildren. Yeah, so this is a message to my daughters as well. Yeah. So 
They are, they are in the process, so yeah. fast, fast, fast. Fast, fast, see. fast, fast. <laughs> so it will work. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you too. Thank you so Thank much, you. Dr. Falu. Thank you so much for all you do. I mean, for all you do. I mean, I mean, I'm not saying this because by now I'm sure when we get to talk to you and your wife, we'll get the opportunity to really tell. It's not. I meet people all the time, and they they say things about you, and it's heartwarming to know that we still have people, good people, and, and good doctors who do it because they want to do it. Because your job is not easy. <laughs> it's not easy at all. It's not easy. The frustration, meeting the stubborn ones like that. <laughs> Peace, you <all. laughs> But you still do it. So thank you. The, the, I, was, I, I always share this joke with them. So when they, on their wedding day, yeah. was, they wanted me to be the chairman for their wedding. wedding so i said i know why i'm the chairman for the wedding for in insurance to make sure abba doesn't have a, a seizure on, <laughs> on, the on, on set so so far she's done more she hasn't had a seizure on, on set. set so that, that, that's fine <laughs> thank you so you much need you need to be smart eh? <laughs> <laughs> you know that day i had my my father was going to be the chairman the mm -hmm. one who brought me up yeah. captain labby yeah. But I knew Captain Lab is not a medical doctor. Yeah. Let's oh, he, yeah. So us. I need to have a like you know, a, a very good combination. Yeah. So we we're playing the one two one formation. Uh -huh. and it was cool. I'll be back with a bit of me. Thank you so <laughs> much, dog, <laughs> for always being there for us. We are grateful. Twelve years ago and then now. Thank you so Thank much. You Thank much. you. <laughs> I'll be back with a bit of me. <laughs> God works in mysterious ways, and his ways are not our ways. Yes, he says, ask, and you shall be given. But sometimes, what he gives us, and how he gives us, is always the challenge. He's faithful. He's never failed, and he will never fail. Yes, I'm preaching, right? But how... It comes about is always always beyond human understanding there are people who due to their challenges who due to their predicament their conditions the things people consider a stigma have become prominent because of that the very things that people used to laugh at you the very thing that people stigmatize you about. The very thing that you are even shy to tell people about. God can use that to bring you, to shoot you up into prominence. Because of that very thing. There to be you. There to trust God. That regardless, irrespective of how terrible it is, he has a plan for you. God always has a plan for us. Its implementation can be very confusing, but in the end, we'll all understand. In the end, we'll all understand. People have been on this show before who nobody knew, but after sharing their stories, the places they go to, the respect, the platform they have, no, I, I haven't even been there before. But that's how God works. Don't give up. Don't kill yourself because of what you're going through, because of your condition, because of what people are laughing or people are saying about you. Do not kill yourself because God works in mysterious ways. That very thing he will use to be a blessing to you and to others. I remain a woman with super crazy faith in God. 15 years of the standpoint. It hasn't been easy. There have been many times I felt like giving up. But this same program God has used to open many doors for me that I can never, ever pay. He has given us wisdom. Let's continue using it. Thanks for watching. See you same time next week. Bye for now. <laughs>